Mr. Prime Minister, it's good to see you, and uh, I wish I could uh, reciprocate the hospitality you gave uh, me when I visited Ottawa as Vice President in 2016. The sooner we get this pandemic under control, the better, and I look forward to seeing you in person in the future. As you know, uh, to state the obvious, we had a private talk about this a little while ago. The United States has no closer friend, no closer friend than Canada. That's why you were my first call as president, my first bilateral meeting, and of course, my vice president spent some time living up in Montreal for high school, and so our channel of communication is are wide open. As you know, we have a robust agenda today, and, uh, and we're all best served when the United States and Canada work together and lead together in close coordination on a full range of issues we're going to discuss. COVID-19, economic recovery, climate change, refugees and migration, fighting for our democratic values on a global stage, and, and uh, strengthening our own democracies at home. We spoke about this at the G7, but it's worth saying again, I believe the leaders of the major democracies, we have, a as leaders of major democracies, we have responsibility to prove that democracy can still deliver for our people. There are a lot of leaders around the world who are trying to make the argument autocracy works better. Empowering the full participation of our people, expanding opportunity and equity for everybody, ensuring the benefits of growth uh, are shared broadly, that's how we're going to win the battle for the future. So thank you again, Mr. Prime Minister, for your partnership and your enduring commitment to the U.S.-China relationship, U.S.-Canadian relationship. We're going to talk about China, and I'm looking forward to a very productive discussion. The floor is yours, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, it's so good to see you, Joe, and it's such a, a great opportunity for us to, to sit down and talk not just about this uh, extraordinary friendship between our two countries, uh, but all the work we have to do uh, together to get through COVID, but also uh, to keep making sure we're, uh, we're pulling our weight around the world and uh, making the world a better and safer place for everyone, not just with this pandemic, but with everything else as well. Uh, it's a, a real pleasure to be able to, to, to see you today alongside uh, Vice President Harris. I'm glad to be joined here by uh, our Deputy Prime Minister, Christian Freeland, and our Foreign Minister, Mark Garno, who's, whose birthday it is today. Uh, uh, so it's a, a, a special celebration for him. Um, lots of things to talk about. Obviously, COVID and how we're going to keep our citizens safe is uh, top of mind. Uh, but we're also going to dig into the recovery how we move forward on creating a good job uh, for Canadians and Americans, strengthening the middle class, helping those working hard to join in. Uh, as we move forward, there's, there's a lot to rebuild. We're also going to talk about climate change, and, and thank you again for stepping up in such a big way uh, on tackling climate change. Uh, U.S. leadership has been sorely missed uh, over the past, uh, past years, and I, I have to say, as, uh, as we are preparing the uh, uh, the, the joint uh, rollout and communicate from this when it's nice uh, when the Americans are pulling out all references to climate change and instead adding them in. So uh, we're really excited to uh, to be working with you on uh, on that. Lots uh, lots more to do. It's a very grand plaisir de pouvoir m'asseoir avec vous, Président Biden et Président Harris, pour parler évidemment de la COVID, pour parler de la reconstruction économique et de la création d'emplois. Uh, pour les Canadiens et les Américains dans les, uh, les mois et les années à venir et la lutte contre les changements climatiques qui demeure uh, un élément essentiel uh, de, notre, de notre avenir, mais aussi de notre présent. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, engaging with you all on, uh, on these issues over the, the coming hours, but uh, uh, especially I'm uh, looking forward to, to getting to know your whole team as well. Uh, Vice President uh, Harris, it's great to, great to see you here. Uh, I'll uh, turn it over to you now. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. It is good to see you. It was good to speak to you on the 1st of February. And um, as the President said, I, I spent many of my teenage years living in Montreal when my mother was teaching at McGill University and doing her research at the Jewish General Hospital there. So I have fond memories of my 
my time in Montreal, and it certainly left me with a lasting impression about how much our two countries have in common in terms of shared values and priorities. And as the President has said, we have a lot to do, each of us, and together we can do a lot of it in addressing COVID, in addressing the impact of the pandemic on our countries, looking at where we have possibilities to work together, not only in terms of the public health and economic struggles of our country, but also what we have in terms of shared values around addressing the challenges of climate change. Um, we look forward to working with you on that and many others. We are neighbors, we are friends as a country, and um, the challenges that we face not only are, as we have said about COVID and climate change, also as the President will talk about and has mentioned, our, our challenges in terms of China and Russia and what we can do in terms of working together on that and working together in terms of strengthening and modernizing uh, the UN and WTO. So we look forward to working with you. It is good to speak with you. And I'll now turn it over to Deputy Prime Minister Freeland. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, Madam Vice President, it gives me such pleasure to address that term directly to you. And I have to tell you, your election has been such an inspiration for women and girls across Canada, especially for black women and girls and for South Asian women and girls. So many of them have told me that directly. Uh, I am so looking forward to working with you and your organization on conquering COVID, on working together to be sure our economy can come roaring back. I couldn't agree more with what the president said, that we have a real responsibility now, all of us, to show that democracy can deliver for our people, for Canadians, for Americans, and for the whole world. And with the friendship of everyone in this room and that first world room, I am pretty confident we're going to do it. Uh, Madame Vice President, que ce soit votre temps à Mississauga ou vos amis anciens à Montréal, tous les Canadiens sont si fiers de vous. Et quand le COVID-19 ne nous le permet pas, ce sera un grand plaisir pour moi de vous accueillir encore une fois au Canada. J'ai lu votre autobiographie excellente et je dois dire une chose, et c'est que je suis aussi une anglophone et je suis d'accord avec vous que c'est difficile à prendre le français, mais ça vaut la peine. Bienvenue, Madame la Vice-Présidente. Madame la Vice-Présidente, nous sommes très fiers de vous et de tous les femmes et les filles au Canada sont très fiers de vous, bien sûr, et je vous espère that once COVID is over, we'll be able to meet in person. And indeed, French, is, I am myself an English speaker, and uh, French is a difficult language to learn, but I do believe that is well worth it. Moi aussi. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> well, before we go on, I want to make sure you know Anthony Blinken, our Secretary of State, sitting here, right? And the fellow down here on the right-hand side, a guy named Jake Sullivan, he's the National Security Advisor, and uh, the National Security Council Senior Director for Western Hemisphere, Juan Gonzalez, who uh, usually speaks Spanish to me, which I have trouble with as well. 